All right, everybody. Eric T. here, and we're with J.D. Haas from 101.5 KTKE. Today, J.D. Haas is going to attempt paddleboarding, stand-up paddleboarding for the first time. We're down here at mm. Sunnyside at High Sierra Water Ski School, and these guys launched paddleboarding on Tahoe. They were the first ones to be renting these a few years back, and now it's a full-on craze. J.D., what are your thoughts? I mean, you've seen people standing on these boards. What do you think? Well, I've seen them standing on the boards and paddling across the water. It almost looks like you're walking on water. So can I walk on water? No. Can I stand on it and keep my balance? Possibly yes. We're going to find out about it. I, I think that some of the skills that I have from skiing maybe can bring into here because you got to be somewhat balanced, it looks like. I have no idea, but I know this. I know that the lake is nice and blue, and who cares if I fall off because I want to just go swimming. We got uh, Lee Schmidt here from High Sierra Water Ski School. Lee, it's a full-on craze now. Give me the give me the quick rundown. What's what's so exciting about paddleboarding? Well, I wouldn't say it's a fad because it's definitely picking up and everyone's doing it. But it's a great exercise. Uh, it's spectacular for you, just your overall body, your core balance. It's just fun to be on the lake, non-motorized thing to do, and it's very exciting and it's fun. Basically, your stance. It's most important that you're standing just below center line of the board, so you're about in this position. Okay, if in the beginning you want your legs as far apart or wide as possible, you want to flex your knees, keep your hips down, low center of mass. Okay, if you're going to lose your balance, the lower you go, the better balance you have. Okay, you want to make sure you keep your back straight at all times with the hips forward. As far as paddling, keep the front of the paddle facing out, hand on the top, and just nice slow strokes. Switch, put your other hand on the top, and just paddle. That's pretty much it. You'll notice that there's a lot of side balancing and muscle twitching in here, so just try to stay relaxed and keep your chin up and look where you're going. Stay relaxed, keep my chin up. Exactly. And if I'm going down, do I tuck my chin? You just go for the dive. Go for the dive. JD is putting his feet on the paddleboard. Now we did a little pre-instruction here, so he, he's got a general sense of how oh. this, he's, he's out on the water. He's, he's shaky. It's a tough start. He's trying to give a paddle. He's still standing. JD is paddleboarding. Stand up paddleboarding appears to be easy enough for JD. He's going to char pit. We're not sure if he's going to be able to turn here. We're seeing a lot of wiggly feet, but I got to say, holy cow, he stepped on, paddled away, and he's headed to Kings Beach. Lee, how did he do on his first try here? He's actually doing very well. He's a little shaky, like you said, with his knees and ankles. He's actually kind of being very aggressive, so. He has the potential to go in here. Well, of course, that's not what we're wishing for. Nudge, 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 nudge. He may actually be going all the way to the char pit. He has not stopped heading out into the lake. So if anybody's listening in their boat, we may need an assist later on. Well, obviously, the summer scene has completely begun sitting here at Sunnyside. JD stepped on the board, and boom, there he went. And amazingly enough, he's still going. This is literally 20 minutes later, and he's still paddling. He's doing a full circumnavigation of the Sunnyside Dock. So we're going to talk to him a little bit and see how it went. Here he comes. He made it all the way back around the whole Sunnyside Dock. Yeah! <laughs> yes! The faster you go, the easier it is. So it comes right back to my words I use all the time. Speed is your friend. It's opening day on the lake and summer has begun in Tahoe. 